Dogs, while loyal and loving pets, have a really sharp memory when it comes to bad experiences. These negative encounters can do more than just scare them in the moment. They have a lasting impact on their trust in you. And while dogs overlook many things their beloved owners do, there are nine things your pooch will find very hard to forgive. Number 1. Ignoring them Dogs like us don't enjoy being ignored. When they're left alone too much or we're too busy to give them attention, it can hurt their feelings. Dogs thrive on interaction and companionship. It's essential for their emotional well-being. Imagine waiting all day for your best friend to play with you, only for them to ignore you when they finally come home. That's how your dog feels when they're pushed aside. Even if our lives are hectic, there are ways to make sure our dogs still feel loved and valued. Hiring a weekday dog walker can be a game changer. It gives your dog a chance to get out, stretch their legs, and break up their day with some excitement. And for you, it means coming home to a happier, more relaxed dog. For those times when you're home but busy, consider enriching your dog's environment with treats and toys that keep them engaged. Raw hides or no hide bones are great for keeping them occupied, and a short play session in the morning can do wonders for their mood throughout the day. Number 2. Using punishment-based techniques Training a dog using punishment-based techniques like yelling or physical discipline isn't just old school, it's ineffective. Think about it. If someone shouted at you or gave you a timeout every time you forgot to put your dishes away, you'd probably end up confused or scared, not motivated to change. The same goes for dogs. When they're punished, they might stop the behavior in the moment out of fear, but they're not learning what you actually want them to do. Worse yet, it can harm the bond you share. Here's a better approach. Positive reinforcement. If they sit when asked, they get a treat or a belly rub. If they stay quiet instead of barking at the mail carrier, they receive praise or a favorite toy. This way, dogs learn what behaviors earn them positive attention and rewards. Positive reinforcement encourages dogs to repeat those good behaviors because they associate them with good things happening. It's a win-win. Your dog learns faster, and your bond grows stronger because you're communicating in a way that builds trust instead of fear. Number 3. Segregation from the pack the thing that can hurt a dog the most is being separated from their family. For a dog, their human family is their whole world. When a dog is labeled as bad and kept away from the family, either in a kennel or a backyard, it's incredibly harmful to their emotional well-being. Dogs are social creatures by nature, thriving on interaction and approval from their human pack. They want nothing more than to make us happy, craving our love and approval far more than any treat or toy. Sometimes, dogs act out not because they're inherently bad, but because they're not receiving the guidance and training they need to understand what's expected of them. If a dog is struggling with their behavior, it's a signal that they might need more attention, training, or mental stimulation. If you're facing challenges with your dog's behavior, don't opt for isolation as a solution. Instead, reach out for professional help. Veterinarians and experienced dog trainers offer a wealth of knowledge and resources to address behavioral issues. Number 4. No House Rules Dogs are big fans of consistency, much like that favorite spot on the couch they always choose. When we bring them into our homes without setting any house rules, it's like inviting them to a game, but not teaching them the rules. At first, they might think everything is allowed, from jumping on the furniture to playing a bit too rough. But when we suddenly decide to change these rules, it confuses them. Imagine one day you're allowed to eat cookies in bed, and the next day, it's off limits. Before a dog steps paw into your home, it's crucial to have a clear plan. Sit down with everyone in the house and agree on what the dog is and isn't allowed to do. Where will they sleep? Are they allowed on the couch? Who will feed them and when? Who's taking them for walks? Dogs love routine because it makes them feel secure. Knowing what to expect every day helps them understand their place in your family. Number 5. Punishing Fearful Behavior Many things in our world can be scary for dogs. Thunderstorms, fireworks, and even the vacuum cleaner can seem like big, loud monsters to them. 
Some dogs also naturally have more anxiety or are less confident. Also, dogs often pick up on how we're feeling. If we're calm, it can help them feel calm too. When a dog is scared, show them that you are relaxed. Sit with them, gently pet them, and speak in a soft voice. This shows your dog they're not alone and that you're there to protect them. Number six, using the crate as punishment. Using a crate should be like giving your dog their own personal bedroom, not a timeout corner. When we use the crate as a punishment, it's like telling them their safe space is actually a penalty box. This can really hurt their feelings. It's important to make the crate a happy place. How? Fill it with their favorite toys, cozy bedding, and even some treats. This way, they'll know it's a spot just for them, a place to relax and feel secure. Try playing games that involve the crate, like tossing a ball into it or feeding them their meals there. Number seven, rubbing their nose in it. This mistake could really strain your relationship with your dog. If your dog has an accident inside, getting upset and showing them their mistake in such a direct and negative way doesn't teach them what you think it does. Instead, it teaches them to fear you and possibly to hide their future accidents from you. They won't understand why they're being punished in this manner, only that it's something to be afraid of. The key to potty training is patience and positive reinforcement. When they do go in the right spot, make it a mini celebration with praise and treats. This encourages them to repeat the behavior. And if an accident happens inside, it's a sign that they need more guidance and opportunities to go outside, not punishment. Number eight, using the comes command for something your dog doesn't like. When training our dogs, the come command is like the golden ticket. It's that special word that means, hey, come over here, something good is going to happen. At first, we teach them that coming when called equals a tasty treat or a fun game. This builds trust and excitement around the command. But if we start using come as a way to signal bath time or a trip to the vet, things our dogs might not be exactly thrilled about. They can start feeling tricked and betrayed. We should use the come command for positive outcomes only. If we need them for something less pleasant, it's better to go and get them instead of risking the trust and reliability of that golden command. Number nine, being a party pooper. Dogs are like little athletes who also need their brain games. Skipping on playtime is like telling them to sit through a movie marathon without any popcorn. When we don't spend quality time playing with them, they might start thinking of their own games. And let's be honest, their idea of fun might include a little interior decorating with your favorite shoes or the couch cushions. It's not just about tiring them out physically, though that's important. Their brains need a workout as well. You don't need to transform your backyard into a doggy obstacle course, although that sounds pretty cool. Simple activities like playing fetch in the hallway or a spirited game of tug of war can make a world of difference. Just 10 minutes of play can turn a potentially bored and frustrated dog into the happy, well-behaved companion we all love. Plus, it strengthens the bond between the two of you. Speaking of a strong bond, did you know that a wagging tail doesn't always mean your dog is happy? And when they smile at you, it's actually not a grin of joy. Check out this video to find out what it really means. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our doggy-loving community.